Stream Deck Software Update version 5.1 has been released and I'm going to tell you about it in this video. Hello, welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec, and in this video, we're talking about the latest version of the Stream Deck software, which was uh, literally just released a few hours ago, uh, just before I went to bed, in fact. <laughs> and uh, it's funny because the feature that's been added to it, because there aren't many, there's only two really, <laughs> the feature that has been added is uh, something that was literally just about to uh, do myself anyway using some sort of uh, profile hack. I'll tell you about that in a moment. Uh, and so it came just in time for me. But uh, let me tell you about the, uh, the features first. But before I do, that actually and let me tell you how to actually get it so I'll come over to my uh, screen sharing for the moment here is the stream deck software you want to click on the little cogwheel just up at the top to bring up your preferences now in your preferences you've got three tabs profiles accounts and general uh, before you do anything and update it's always a good idea just to back up your profiles so if you come over to the profiles here uh, and then you've got this little down arrow here just at the very bottom so if you click on that and then you've got the option to back up all and either create a backup up or restore from a backup so incidentally if anything does go wrong this is where you restore it as well so just click on there and create the backup and it'll back up every single profile that you've got in there and it will just be all in one single uh, package one file for your uh, your backup it's always a good idea to get in the habit of doing this anyway whether or not you've got a, uh, a, a stream de <laughs> stream deck software update to uh, to do uh, just do it incrementally as you're going along and especially if you've made big changes to your profiles and things like that it's always a good habit to get into just to make sure if anything goes wrong you can always get back to uh, where you were but anyway that is the backup let's come back to the general tab and in here it tells you the uh, the software version uh, but also the uh, the device you're on and the firmware version so uh, when you uh, click up here check for updates this button is always there so you can always uh, check for updates when you click on this uh, presumably if at the moment you haven't updated this will be a 5.0 dot something uh, so here is what mine looked like just before I updated uh, the check for updates button is there and so when you click on it obviously you'll be prompted to update just go through the update there's nothing particularly special about that it will just all happen automatically and uh, stream deck will reboot uh, but then what you want to do is you want to come back into this window then because what you'll notice is that a uh, firmware update button appears after you have done the update so this um check for updates is always there you can always click on it to see if there's an update uh, but the update firmware button only appears when there is actually a firmware update available so there must be something that they've done in relation to 5.1 uh, that has triggered this uh, firmware update so make sure you do go and update that uh, the software version is going to be sort of global no matter how many stream decks you've got if you are lucky enough to have uh, one uh, more than one so maybe two or three or my dream ten <laughs> all the way along in front of me uh, then you would uh, just go and make sure that you do update the firmware on each individual device so in that case the software update would be fine just do that once but then just go through your different devices here and just update the firmware on all of them or at least check to see if it needs to be updated so that is how you update the uh, the software so let's come on to the actual new features now and I'll start with there's only really two <laughs> and I'll start with the most boring one <laughs> and that is that you can now whitelist your uh, the places where you're using Stream Deck music if you are using their uh, their built-in music and sound effects so uh, just for case you were not aware or had missed the the news <laughs> in uh, since stream deck 5.0 uh, there has been the uh, the music uh, store and also the sound effects store as well uh, and there you can download little sound effects stingers and things like that uh, and then in the music then there is music in there personally I don't actually use this music so much uh, I've got an epidemic sound uh, subscription so that is what I use for all of my music but uh, you never know you might get lucky and find something good in there <laughs> and if you do then it is free to use it's totally copyright free though you can use it in any platform uh, however the pieces of music have been created by outside people they haven't all been made by uh, the, the people at Stream Deck or Elgato uh, and so uh, there have been cases apparently I haven't uh, been aware of this but there have been cases where there have been like copyright uh, notices against YouTube channels where they've been using this it's it's, it happens a lot <laughs> that you get a copyright notice and then you just have to especially if you use for example my experience of this is using Adobe stock you get an epidemic sound uh, music library uh, as, as part of that uh, but the thing is you have to go and actually manually every time go and add in the details of the license and so on so what was happening for some users of Stream Deck 
uh, where they were using this music is they would get flagged as there'd been a copyright claim against their uh, their channel uh, and then they'd have to go in and just basically say no it's uh, I'm a stream deck user and the, there was a there was a whole process to it apparently um again I don't know how many people have been affected by this but basically now what they've added in which is very sensible is a way to basically whitelist your channels within stream deck so what you do for that is you come into your preferences again so clicking on the little uh, cogwheel at the top uh, and then you come into accounts and basically you just come and add in all of your different accounts here uh, so you can just click on the little plus icon uh, whoops daisy my <laughs> pro mouse has gone off there we go uh, you click on the little plus icon and you can add in a Streamlabs, twitch uh, twitter or youtube account and by the way you can add multiple ones in so if you are using it in multiple locations then you can add that in here that's one thing about epidemic sound by the way is the uh, the monthly license that you get for that or that you pay for with epidemic sound you get to add in basically one user account per platform so you can have your facebook twitch uh, youtube uh, Instagram uh, or wherever you're going to be using the music um, but it is only one account per um, subscription if you want to add on extra YouTube accounts or use the epidemic music somewhere else you basically have to add on an extra license you can do it all within the same account but you still have to pay for the extra license so here what it's allowing you to do is basically whitelist anywhere where you're using the stream deck music library so uh, what I'll do is I'll leave a link to the uh, the page on the Elgato website where it talks about the copyright and just to be sure that uh, it is all free to use and you can use it wherever. Uh, and this just explains the uh, the process and what to do if you do ever get a strike against you. Not a strike, I keep saying strike. It's a copyright claim. <laughs> it's only a strike if you're found to genuinely be in breach. So uh, there we go. Uh, and you won't be with Stream Deck. So that is basically the boring part of the software update uh, but now on to the feature that I was literally just about to emulate yesterday with a profiles hack and that is uh, the eagle-eyed amongst you <laughs> may have noticed that we've now got pages down at the bottom so this is on a profile by profile basis incidentally I did a video a while back about how I use profiles and why personally I feel that profiles are better than uh, folders so I'll leave a link to that up in the top corner and basically this just works in with that that uh, it works best this new pages feature if you are using profiles rather than folders uh, and it basically allows you to just add on an extra page or two or three or four to a uh, to a particular profile so you notice here this is my uh, this is the profile that I'm using at the moment for recording this video in Ecamm Live uh, and now I've got this little arrow up at the uh, the top and that allows me to go onto my second page where I've got other scenes and uh, buttons that I do want to have available for my uh, my T uh, take one tech uh, videos uh, but I don't necessarily need them all the time and the way that I'd done this before was I just had a little an, a separate profile that was kind of like extras <laughs> and then I had another one for live streaming so these buttons down at the bottom are all for when I do my uh, weekly live stream uh, so now it's all in one profile but it's just spread out over two pages so I'll uh, show you how to do this. I've set up a blank profile down here. So I'm just going to go into this profile. It's blank except for I've got a little button here, which is a shortcut to get back to my original profile. Incidentally, if you weren't sure how to do that, the other thing I've got here is my uh, pro mouse zoom, just so that I can still zoom in while I'm in this profile. If I come over to the, uh, the right hand side here uh, and we go into all of the controls for Stream Deck, uh, if you've got multiple different profiles, I did explain this in the uh, the video I did about profiles, but just so that you know, you can actually switch profiles. So you can just drag this switch profile and switch back to a different uh, switch between profiles. So that is all this button does here is it just takes me back to my uh, Take One Tech profile. Uh, and then this button down here is taking me into this demo. So at the moment, this is how every profile will now look. You'll have this little thing at the bottom saying pages and it'll start with a one, obviously. And you've got this little plus icon. And when you want to uh, add another page, just click plus and there you go. Now we've got uh, two pages. Uh, but one thing to uh, note is you do obviously, I say obviously, you do need <laughs> to have space for this little button because uh, Stream Deck, the Stream Deck software will put in the, uh, the arrows for you to go left and right. Now it will default to the bottom left here and the bottom uh, right uh, to skip between pages. Uh, but basically it will put it, if you've got a like, in my case, I had this, uh, this was pretty much full uh, and I got a little notification coming up when I tried to uh, add in a page which said, <laughs> I just get the little notice up, it said, 
Adding a new page requires a next page action to be added. Please delete some actions in this page to allow the creation of the new page. Well, you don't have to delete some, you just have to delete one because it basically just needs one empty slot to be able to add in this little arrow here. So um, once you've uh, deleted a space, <laughs> then you'll be able to add in your, uh, your extra uh, profiles your extra pages rather so let me just come back to that demo one I did um, so you can see it has just defaulted to put in the arrow down here uh, but we can basically add as many pages as we want I say as many let's see shall we how many can we add I wonder <laughs> uh, 10 is the maximum <laughs> I probably wouldn't recommend using 10 if you're going to use 10 it's maybe better to just use a different profile and link between I'm not sure but there you, there you go so if I come back to page one what you can see is on each of these pages we have now got these arrows over on the left and right to just flick between them so I can flick between pages on my stream deck like that so I'm just pressing the button on my stream deck to cycle between them you may want to have uh, like wonder which page you're on because obviously when we're looking at the uh, the application we can see all of these numbers can't we whereas if you are somewhere in here uh, and you're looking down at your stream deck there's no differentiation between these pages apart from obviously you'd have <laughs> different buttons on them uh, but what we can do is if we come over to the stream deck there's a couple of extra actions that have been added in uh, and one is this one it says page indicator so I can drag that on and it will actually let's put it up in this top corner shall we it'll tell me which page I'm on so what I'm going to do is just copy that between my scenes so uh, in case you were uh, in case you didn't know you can actually just copy uh, actions by pressing command c there we go so I'm just going to come in here and put this in every page uh, I think that probably 10 is a few too many so what I'm going to do is just show you how to delete some which is as simple as <laughs> coming down here to the, uh, the the pages icons down here and just right click on it and then select delete uh, it'll ask you if you're sure so you don't just inadvertently go and delete your uh, icons and obviously that what was page 7 is now page 6 so let's delete those and then I wonder if you can highlight them all. No, you can't. <laughs> so you do have to delete them one by one uh, like that. So there we go. That is how you delete them. So I showed you how we can add in the page number. Uh, but what you can also do is you may want to just have shortcuts to be able to jump directly to a page. Uh, and so with that, you can come through to uh, the uh, actions again. And there's this other one, go to page. So in the same way that you could switch between profiles, now you can switch to pages of a specific profile. So if I just add that in there, uh, and then we might want to add a couple of those. So we'll go to page. Uh, I'm not going to do it for all of them. You'll get the idea. <laughs> There's not much to it. Uh, so all you do is you come down and you select the page that you want to go to. So let's say page number two, uh, and then give it a title. Uh, and then this one. And obviously you can change all of these icons, which if I was going to be using this heavily, I would do. <laughs> so there you go. That is page number two and three. And now if I press those buttons, it'll take me to, so I could just jump to page number three by pressing the three button. And you can see that I've jumped to page number three. Obviously, if you want to have those on every page, you could just add those numbers in so that you could just jump between uh, pages. Uh, I'm not sure that I'll use this in this way where I've got lots and lots of pages. I'll probably just use it where I've got spillover from, uh, from one to another. So uh, if I come back here like I've got this main page but then I just want a few extra actions on there so I have already set this up for I've got this obviously for this profile uh, and then for things like my OmniFocus uh, Excel and things like that where I do have um, quite a lot of keyboard shortcuts and things like that or <laughs> stream deck shortcuts I should say uh, then it's handy just to have them all uh, like that the other way where I the other place rather I may use that is on my actual home screen that I use for Stream Deck where as I start adding more stuff on then maybe I'll have an extra page on that one for just as I get more and more things that need to go on there. So that is basically what all there is to the Stream Deck 5.1 uh, update. Uh, but like I say, it's very timely for me <laughs> and I hope that you find it useful too. Uh, and if you found this video useful, <laughs> then the best way to let me know is to go and give it a like down below uh, and also subscribe if you're not already subscribed and consider visiting my Buy Me A Coffee page if you found my content useful. So that's all for this video though. I'll leave a link to some more of my uh, Stream Deck videos over on the, uh, the right hand side uh, and until the next time, I'll uh, see you later. <laughs>